Yeah. Hey there everyone, it's Mouse Plays, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod. The Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod has adds lots of furniture to Minecraft so you can furnish your own home. I've taken over some buildings in this village to represent some of that. So today we're just going to go through each of these four buildings. We're going to show you what's going to be going on in there. And I'm going to show you each category and what you can put in there. Alright, let's get right into it. First, we have the chair room, as I would call it. We have the couch, and we have the chairs. So the couches come in all these different colors. Every wool color in the game you can put in a couch color, and they're interchangeable. So And you can sit on them as well. You can sit in the corner. They have an end, too. So that's pretty cool. If it's connected to a wall, it won't have an armrest, but otherwise it will. Now these are the chairs. Now the chairs come in each wood type and some stone types. You've got oak, dark oak, birch, jungle, acacia, spruce, stone, granite, andesite, diorite. We do have two more things to this room I'd like to show you. First, we have the blinds and curtains. So you can close these, you put them on your window, and you can close these, and then you can have complete darkness aside from the door. But if you want to light up your room, you can use ceiling lights and a light switch. So if I click this light switch, you can see that I've turned on lights, and now the room isn't as dark anymore. And then of course, if you open up the blinds again, the light will come back from outside. So just as simple as that, let's move on to the next room. In this room, we're in the table bathroom situation miscellaneous room. So we're going to start off with the tables. The tables come in the same materials as the chairs in the other room. And they're just a nice place. They connect. So if I place on this oak, you can see that the legs will go away. The only reason that the legs aren't going away is because these all are different types. This is the lamp. We're going to go much further into this, but it basically it's just another light source. We have the stereo, so it can play different soundtracks from the game you shift and right click to turn it off moving on from there we have the washing machine so in the washing machine you can put armor pieces in and then you can put in different types of soap now these are all cleaned up but basically what it'll do is it'll repair your armor so you can see as it goes it's going to clean the armor but as you can see it's already cleaned so we don't care or you can also use super soapy water so just know you can't take it out once you put it in you can also use super soapy water and it basically it's just more effective at repairing. Next we have the toilet and as you saw in the intro you can you can make fart noises with it. Then we have the sink and the wall cabinet. Now the wall cabinet's like your standard medicine cabinet. You can put some medicine type stuff in here and then the sink it's just like a normal sink you can wash it and you can either put a water source underneath it to fill it up or you can use a water bucket. Now this is the bathtub. Now the bathtub is the same filling up. I've already filled it up. It's like so you just fill it up and you can probably take a bath in it. Yippee! You can sit in it. Take a nice bath. Simple as that. Then there's the shower. Turn on the shower head. Go in. Take a nice shower. Mmm, yes. Clean. That's pretty much it for the bathroom. Next, we're going to move on to the bedroom. Here we are in the bedroom. Now, with the bedroom, I've also included some of the modern furniture types. There's two types. Before, we've looked at just standard furniture types, but we also have modern furniture types. So this is the modern couch. comes in all clay colors. You've got the TV. There's also a regular TV. You can put gifts in here. It's a little complicated, but you can put gifts in there. Then there's the table, the modern table. You turn on the lights and there's the modern lights i also have one right up there you can see it there but basically those are the modern furniture types and then there's the modern bed works the same as a normal bed you can go to sleep in it like so and then you wake up this is a different color of lamp this is the light blue lamp and then here's a bedside table and these bedside tables come in the same wood types and stone types as the tables and the chairs and you can just put basically anything you want in here, emptying your inventory. It's like a chest. And then there's also these modern stairs. So instead of using cobblestone stairs for your stairs, you can now use stairs for your stairs. Stairs, 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 stairs. stairs. That's pretty much it for this bedroom room. And we're going to move on to the final room, which is my favorite, and that's the kitchen. Now quickly before we go inside the kitchen, I am going to demonstrate the fire alarm here. So if I get a flint and steel, and I light a fire underneath it, it'll start to beep. I'm going to turn that off just because that's so annoying. But that'll just beep and let you know that there's a fire in your house. Here we are in the kitchen. 
Now the kitchen has many unique types of furniture. But first, we're going to turn on the lights, and you can see that we actually have a working ceiling fan in here. It'll start to spin rapidly and rapidly, but that's pretty cool. So first over here, we have the bin, and the bin works just like a normal trash can. Press empty, and it just deletes your items. Then we have the dishwasher. Now this one is where you can put your tools, and I think your elytra, and it will repair it just like the washing machine we saw before. So I'm not going to demonstrate that right now because it's the same soapy water start situation. Then we have these cabinets. You can put whatever you want in it, like water buckets, blenders, dishwashers. You can put whatever you want in the cabinets. So first here we have the blender, and to use the blender, you're gonna need the recipe book. And inside the recipe book, you can see all these different recipes that you can use. But we're gonna go to blender. So for example, if we want fruit crush, we're gonna need two apples and four melons to get fruit crush. Let's do that now. So I have my two apples and four melons, I'm just going to put that in. Shift right click and it'll start to blend. Once it's done, you're going to need a cup. Just grab your cup. And now it's done. We can right click. And we can enjoy. Next we have the cookie jar. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can store cookies in there. Then we have the toaster, where you can toast bread. So if you put it in here, shift right click, it'll start to toast. It'll go down into the toaster, then you just wait, and now it's done, and you have toast, which you can put over here on your plate. Next, we have the microwave. Just gonna grab myself some uncooked beef. Just gonna grab myself some beef. Put it in the microwave. It doesn't require anything, but you can only do one at a time. And then you have steak. Simple as that. Now, moving on to this side, we have a couple things we're gonna talk about. First, we're gonna talk about the kitchen counter. Again, just like before, you use a water bucket, fill it up, and then it just acts like a normal sink. Here we have the knife. There really isn't a use for this right now because there isn't a cutting board in the game, but I think it's a really cool decoration that you can put on your wall. Next we have the oven, which is very much a bulk cooker. If I put in four stacks of raw beef, it doesn't require any fuel like, like a furnace would, but it cooks it like a normal furnace but it just takes the same time. While a microwave, you can only put one in, but it takes less time. But this will take a really long time. Here's the cooking range where you can turn on the light on it. So this is not controlled by our light switch, but it's pretty nice. Then we have the fridge here and the freezer. The freezer is a way you can turn rotten flesh to flesh, actually. If I take some rotten flesh and I put it in this pocket, press start. Then once the flesh is done cooking, you can go ahead and it's just normal flesh. You can eat it, even though you really shouldn't. And there's the chair and the table, and then you can pick up your toast off the plate and eat it. And then finally on the back porch here, I couldn't figure out another place to put this. So these are the coffee tables. These are just a nice decoration for your living room, but they come in all the wood types and stone types like the other tables and chairs. But that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment letting me know what mod you'd like to see next. I upload these videos twice a week and shorts every day, so be sure to come back for more videos. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Go check out this video on aquaculture. It's really cool.